Hi, and good day. I want to discuss how posture affects the disc pressure, particularly in the lower spine. When we sit, when we stand, when we bend, when we twist, there are different degrees of pressure being put upon the load on that disc. The more pressure on the disc, obviously the more wear and tear upon the annular fibers around the disc and making it more susceptible for the nucleus inside the disc to protrude out, either bulge or herniate the disc, causing nerve compression and pain. When we look at the spine from the side, it should look like an S-shaped curve, cervical lordosis uh, curve here. You have a thoracic kyphosis comes out, and then in the lower back, you have a lumbar lordosis again. The issue here is when this curve becomes straighter or reversed, particularly in the lower back, the disc pressure changes tremendously. Now, obviously the best and least amount of pressure in the lower back is lying down. The second would be standing up. And the third, which is the most amount of stress would be sitting down. So in these examples, I wanna go through some different scenarios to give you a better understanding, the best way to sit, to preserve your disc and keep it healthy. I'd like you to understand the biomechanics from when you stand to when you sit. When you sit down, the pelvic rotates posteriorly. It goes backwards like this. And as you see, as it goes back, the lumbar curve is lost, becomes straightened out. So therefore, right away, we set the body in a stage of potential weakening because now the lumbar lordosis is lost and there's more weight bearing unequally on those discs and causing more disc pressure. Now, if you look at this chart, you can see the man standing and that is the least amount of stress on the disc because it does have the normal curves in the spine. And then you can see the difference as the man sits at 110 degrees, 100 degrees, 90 degrees, and then 80 degrees. The secret of sitting is to reduce the disc pressure and to encourage the spine to lengthen into its neutral balanced position as when we're standing. Sitting at 110 degrees is not real practical for most people. And you can see there's not as much pressure on the disc. By sitting upward and leaning slightly backwards, 100 degree angle, the top of the pelvis rotates slightly forward, allowing the spine to maintain its normal S-shaped curve. So this particular position is obviously the best position while seated, but I recommend that you put a lumbar support pillow behind your lower back to sustain that normal lumbar curve. Because once that curve is taken out, then the other curves, particularly the mid back becomes more uh, hyperkyphotic. The, the neck will lean more forward, giving you that anterior forward head uh, translation, as well as that rounded forward uh, position. So realize that when you sit and you lean forward, you lose that lower lumbar lordosis, putting unequal stress on the disc. Now you have a C-shape opposite curve. If you see, it kind of goes the opposite way, the lumbar lordosis, putting an excessive stress on those disc regions. Now, uh, if you sit, you can use a lumbar lordosis to help support that lower lumbar spine. But the little trick is that the part that you sit on the seat, if you can get that seat to go slightly forward, maybe 10 degrees or so, it will naturally allow you to sit up and have that lumbar lordosis naturally without a support in your lower back. But if you are sitting, driving in a car and you cannot change the seat or the angle of the, of the bottom of the seat that you're sitting on, I recommend you put a lumbar support behind your lower back to help sustain that lumbar lordosis. Now realize that when this curve becomes off, Again, look at the spine. You get more kyphosis in the mid back. The head goes forward, more anterior translation, anterior head carriage, rounded shoulder, more wear and tear in the disc, causing more inflammation on the nerve, affecting those discs and leading to disc herniations and degenerative joint problems. So if you have questions, you can leave it below. I ask you to share this video. Very, very important sitting, the biomechanics of sitting and how the load is actually changed into the disc it's a very important thing you should understand because we spend most of our life in a seated position. Unfortunately, uh, besides sleeping, seated is number two. So you need to take care of yourself. Make it a great day. 
I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.